Hello again. Uh, well, someone wanted me to do a video on uh, rotation and translation of coordinates. So I, uh, I took some time to create a scenario uh, where, I, where I do that. I, I take an existing survey and, and uh, existing coordinates in that survey and I uh, use those to translate my new coordinates in an assumed coordinate system into the the uh, existing surveys coordinate system. So I'll, my next video will be on that. I just want to uh, first talk about um, why you might want to do a rotation and translation, or why you might want to do just a rotation, or maybe just a um, translation. So um, so with a rotation and translation. Uh, you need at least two points in an existing traverse uh, that you hit, or or in an existing survey that you hit um, in your in your um, retracement survey. Right. So you need uh, at least two points. in an existing survey All right, that, that have uh, coordinates um, that you hit or, or locate that you locate uh, in your retracement survey. Oops. Retracement survey. All right, so um, so maybe f for rotation and translation, uh, you know, um, you might find a survey that's, you know, tied into state plane coordinates, and uh, and then it has you know has uh, it's tied to orientation to state plane, so it has grid uh, grid north, right? So and and maybe you're working in an assumed coordinate system, say it's ten thousand, ten thousand, and uh, and you're working off magnetic north, right? And you want to tie your survey, your tracement survey, to this, uh, the state plane coordinates and uh, grid north, right? So that's one way of doing that. But you have to have two points that you that have information on them from a previous survey that you hit, that you locate in your uh, retracement survey. Okay, so for a rotation, all right, no coordinates are needed, no existing coordinates, coordinates needed, all right? So that's a plus, you know, because many plans you find uh, they're not going to give you coordinates. Um, but you need uh, you need an azimuth. Uh, well, you need two points. At, well, at least you need at least two points in the existing survey. That you locate uh, in the retracement survey.
right? And these two points, these two existing points, they need to have a bearing. Two existing points. Uh, need a bearing or azimuth uh, between them. Right, so no coordinates are needed for it for a rotation. So that's good. All you need to do is figure out the difference in bearing between your system and the existing uh, coordinate system and you can calculate um, uh, the change in coordinates of your system and it will uh, to give you your new orientation. Alright, and I'll, I'll get into that when I start talking about uh, Start do start playing that scenario out that I talked about earlier. So if with the translation, um, at least one um, point is needed. At least one point uh, in. The existing survey survey is needed that has uh, that has a uh, coordinate on it or coordinates. The northern and eastern that has a Northing and easting on it. Right, that's um, you know that you hit you hit one of the at least this one point that has a northing and easting on it in your tracing survey. All right, and this requires that your survey. is or has the same orientation as the existing survey. All right, because all you need to do is you just need to shift, you know, figure out what point you want to put on to another point, figure out that coordinate difference, and then whatever that coordinate difference is, apply that to uh, every coordinate, um, every point that you have in your retracement survey. Right, and that'll bring you up to the same coordinates as... Uh, you know, as that one point, and since you have the same orientation, it'll be, it'll give you the same. Uh, you'll you'll be in the same coordinate system. All right. So examples. So so for rotation and translation, or both, you want to have the same coordinates as the same coordinates, and you want to have the same. Um, yeah. So you want to have the same coordinates. So you so you're gonna have also the same orientation too. All right, so for rotation and translation, that's true. All right, for just the rotation, you just you just care about your directions. You want your directions referenced to something other than what you are in now, right? You want you want true north instead of magnetic north, or you want geodetic north instead of grid north, um, right? You want something, and with the translation. You already have the same orientation, right? So you don't really care about that. You want the same coordinates, right? You want the same coordinates as this existing survey.
All right, so, so now that I got all that kind of stuff out of the way, let's, um, I'm going to end this video and start a new video um, talking about the rotation and translation of a coordinate system that that I started off with and assumed and I'm going to um, rotate it and translate it into state plane coordinates. So I will see you in the next video.